Well, hello, everybody. Hi, Kim, Debbie, Lisa, Cynthia. Uh, who else? Did I miss anybody, Kim? How y'all doing? So, festive fun. We're going to do some coloring. Easy coloring because there's only a few areas that you can really do shading with our markers. So, e very easy coloring. We're going to do that. And I'm going to wait a minute. I want to show something that I got. But I got this new set. Finally, Stampin' Up! I've been asking them for years. Hanukkah. Spelled with the C. So they have both in here. For people who don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Just kidding. It's like different parts of the country. It's spelled differently. So, yeah, it's really a cute set. And I'll show you the card that I made. Show you the... Hi. Who'd I miss here? I got Vicki, Judith, Joanne, Gloria, Carol, whoop, doo, 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 Peggy. Okay, so here's the card I made. And if you watch Sue Cruz, this is one that she did. So I take it off the bottom because it gets stuck at the top. And ta-da! I made the Hanukkah Gelt, which is money. That's what we play for, coins. Don't ask me what like the letters mean because I don't remember anymore. It's been many, many years since I played dreidel. But there's that card. And then I made another one, almost identical to what Sue did. Just to show you guys, I mean, I can do... Oh, that's not the one. Here it is. Here it is. So, I forget what she called this. One, two, three. Woo! There it is. So you can write in there. Yeah, she used the same thing, but I just decorated the front different and the inside. That's all. Did I do anything else? Uh, oh, yeah. So this is from the catalog. I made a card with this month. Or was it last month? Yeah, it was last month, and I mailed them, mailed them out already. So this is a card that I did with them. So, yeah, the pieces were sent out, and then you can put it together with your cardstock any way you want. But this is one that I did, and yeah. So let me put this away. I gotta make more of those. So. I got in the mail from Gloria Wolf, who is on here right now, a new pokey tool, my patriotic red, white, and blue, and a new glue topper, because remember, I was being a jerk and was like, <laughs> trying to get it unstuck, and I bent it all up. Get in there. You have to have eyes. So, new glue topper. This is Gloria's information. So if you want to take a screenshot, blingcreations520 at gmail.com. So you could just email her for the prices. She is super reasonable. I've seen a lot more expensive than her. So yeah, there it is. I got my little baubles. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to get coloring. Southern California. Hey, Rachel. Uh, hi, Sharon. I don't think I missed anybody else. Okay. So. Oh, do I have these in the right order? I don't think so. Who knows? Who knows? Real red. Uh, real red. It's one of these. I think it's this one. 
Walk in the forest, yeah. Walk in the forest. Yeah, and I never go this way. <laughs> and when I made the sample, so this is layered onto red because, yeah, I glued it this direction. So I had to cut it off and, you know, do some trimming and remount it. Yeah, fun. So we're going to make sure I get it right tonight. That's going to go there. That's for the inside. Oh, the inside, because I had to cut that away. So one is going to have it. One isn't. So I'm going to stamp just the little bird on the inside. Oh, you guys can't see. Let's get in right. Okay, so that's for the inside. We're going to stamp the moose. Moose. I'm going to turn that the right way. Maybe I should stamp it all right now so, like, this stuff dries. I love it. Hopefully the colors will be right. Okay. Let's do that. Give that a chance to dry. I got to do it straight. And I think it's mounted a little bit off. Yeah, it's still a little bit off, but it's good. It's fine. I love it. All right, I'm going to take the other two things and stamp them so that they dry. So this one is the giraffe. Because I'm using the ink that's darker, and I usually don't use this. And I'm going to go a little bit more to the left than I did on my first one. Perfect. All right, so you're going to go with that. You're for the last, no, you're for the second card. And then this guy, he's so cute. Oh, I gotta shut my sound off. I cannot figure out which program makes that sound. And it drives Bob crazy. It drives me crazy too. Hi, Linda. And Helen, who else did I miss? Let me just shut that sound off. Now make sure you can hear me. You can hear me. I shouldn't be able to hear my computer. Now that I didn't stamp that. Where did I stamp? Okay, that goes on the bottom, so I'm good. Okay, and I may as well be neat. And then we can get everything colored and then put together the cards. Yeah, yeah. So neat. I can't stand it. All right. Where's the moose? All right. So I did use one retired color. Dark shaded spruce. Oh, just jade. Just jade is the one that's 
Where's the other one? I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Shaded spruce. All right, I might have used that for shading. <clears throat> All right, so we're using the shaded spruce, and that is not retired. I'll be okay. So we're going to go under the collar, like that. Put a little shading under his arm, top of his arm, a little bit in there. And while I got it, I may as well do that leaf. Maybe I used that one by mistake. I don't even know. So this is the shaded spruce. Yeah, I guess I did. I guess it was a mistake. So now, that's still the sweater. I got a little, like, funky with his arms. I wasn't sure what I was doing there. And then that's going to be brown right there. Okay. We're good. Can you see it okay? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to, can't use that side. I'll do that a few times tonight. So I'm just going to put a little bit more shading under there. And then you bring in the light again and blend that out. Got a lot to color. A lot. Okay, so. His body is pecan pie. So start with the dark. His tail can be dark. Of course, I'm going to color out of the lines tonight. Of course. Okay, and then the light. And as it dries, it gets a little bit lighter. I go right over a schnoz. Of course, I went out of the line again. Of course. I gotta fix that. Okay. Oh, I was gonna put a label on this uh, six weeks ago. <laughs> Crumb cake. So this is the light. We're not getting fancy. So you can if you want, you know, put a little dark there, there, there. And then blend that out. Oh, 
Okay, so light smoky slate and then the blender. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is a little piece of his arm right there. Okay, so you're going to take the blender, take some smoky slate on it, have a piece of scrap paper handy, getting one, just to make sure it's not like too dark, because we're going to make this, I don't know what that's really supposed to be. I guess it's icing. I went a little too dark, but that's okay. I'm going to take the other side and lighten it. So it's kind of more like, you know, whitish. All right, we need... The dark, I'll use the pebbled path. I might have put something else in the, probably the light basic black, but pebble path will work. We're going to finish this right there. Yeah, that tip is done. Oh, I know what I did. Whoops. Settle. Oh, wait, before I do that. Okay, so I'm going to take, I hope this is the light, light crumb cake. Color in there. And then the poppy parade, because I suppose that's supposed to be cherries or something in there. I don't know. We just make it look decent, that's all. And then... I don't think I colored the, I think I forgot to color it, but we'll use the light pecan pie. But no, I don't want it, that one. Let's do, let's do, what color plate would it be? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's do daffodil delight. Throw in something that doesn't belong there. It'll kind of be goldish. Oh, looks perfect. All right, now let me try and fix that spot that I hate. Right there. So you want to just like push it in. And then, yeah, it's gone. Where was the other spot? Right there. So just push it in. And it'll shrink right into it. Okay, so now we want to ground them. Nothing fancy. I'm not even doing two colors. But he's go around. Oh! What did I forget? All right, I'm going to take, I think I did black last time, but this worked perfect. So I'm going to take the pebbled path and fill in his nostrils. Oh, perfect. Mm. 
you watch meditation videos to fall asleep, get my thoughts going. That's true. I listen to um, healing music. Where's all the pieces? Okay. Let me lift this up a little more. I'll put this one together and then we're gonna, well, not we, I'm going to color the other two. And then the end, I'll put the other two cards together. Oh, still got to color the little guy. So I'm going to do hit the inside. Oh, that was supposed to get stamped over a little bit. All right, doesn't matter. So on one of them, this little guy, it kind of looks like a cape. So if you look at this, like I colored his wing. The other ones look more like wings, but this one, it can be a cape. And I'm going to go darker on the yellow. So that could be that. Let's do the cape. We pretend he's wearing a little cape. Where's the other yellow? Dark Daffodil Delight. Let's make him bright. I'll give him a little shading. Little Light Lemon Lolly. Oh, now he's got shading. Look how fancy. So you're just touching it lightly because the spots are so small. Oh, we got to give him a little. Okay, so that can go on the inside. Let's make sure. I never cut my cardstock that way. It's all Sue's fault. And that side's pretty too. see if I left enough room for him. I could stamp the other side. Let's do it. I gotta pull it down. Sorry. Of course, it's crooked. I am going to color the little guy. He goes fast. Let's do it again. All right, so a little bit of the dark. Oh, I forgot his uh, beak underneath. For the beak, I used um, Crush Curry, the regular markers. Oof. 
Ufa. And then a little green. Okay, that's getting popped up. Bloody da. Let's use the new pokey tool that I just lost. There it is. It's covered with markers. Now I got to be careful that I don't lose that. So I'm putting it in my medicine cup. What is that? A seed from my bagel. It's like Bullwinkle. There and And there is card number one. Card number one. Okay. So now I'm going to bring these over. We'll color them and then put them together. Ouch. So, for this one... Hey, Susie, Anna, and Nikki. Who else I miss? Where's Tony? She here? Miss Tony. Okay, so we have Pebbled Path, but I thought I had the other one. We're going to add, like, dark with that one. Oh, that's the light. Gray Granite. That's the other one I'm missing. Or maybe I didn't use it. We'll find out. So this is the... No, I need the light gray granite. Hmm. What a predicament. Smoky sleep. Okay, it's got to be here. Hiding. Got it. Whoops. Okay. Woof. Woofa. Wrong side. You'll see right in there is where I'm going to go darker. Kids are outside the door arguing. Mm. 
Okay. Now, I do believe this is the one <laughs> I added a little ink to today and a little bit of alcohol. So let's hope it stays enough in there. Otherwise, I'll be doing it on camera. Because it's really not blending so well. Okay, so I'm going to take the light pebbled path. Because it definitely needs to be a little dark. Let's hope that blends out. So go back to the dark gray, which is a little bit lighter than that. Do you hear the squeaking? So I go in circular motions to blend it out. Especially when it doesn't cooperate as much. We're going to get a little in-between shade right now. I'm going to lift off some of that. He's going to be a little darker than the other one. I guess I got to put a new one on my shopping list. You always use up the, and I've said it before, that I wish they didn't put them back in pairs because you always use more of the light. So when we could buy them separate, it saved a lot. All right, I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to make a mess. I pull that piece out. This is actually colorless blender ink from Copic, but you can use alcohol. I'm just going to put a couple drops in there if my hand will stay steady. Come on, drip, drip. Maybe I didn't take the thing off. Mm, thing's not on. Surprised there's anything left in the bottle. When you put too much, it comes out the side, but nothing seems to be. We'll find out. But do that. 
That thing must be stuck up in the top. But I'm going to just suck it up. Suck it up. Because you can do that too. Oh, look how wet that is now. But you can use um, alcohol. Oh, yeah. Mucho better. I'll just keep refilling it until I kill the tip. So all I did was three drops and added some of that alcohol colorless blender. Okay. Um, I did him in blues. So boho blue. Boho. Oh, that's light basic. Basic black. And I just did every other one, didn't worry about blending. Because you're talking small spaces. Oop, that goes all the way across. Oh, let's get back down. And those are nice and juicy. I did his skates blue also. So a little bit of dark. A little bit of light. Alright, now. This gift up here is going to be blue. So I got to go around the bird, just putting little dots in there, a little bit in the corners, and then the rest, oh, I almost colored in his little hat thing. And then we got a green shaded spruce. Let's get rid of this just <clears throat> because I think I didn't use it. Just get in the corners and then a little bit by where the ribbon is. Ah, out of the line. What else gets green? I'll do that red, that green. That's going to be red. And this bird I made red, but I'm not going to make it red on this one. Uh, uh, 
we're going to make this one yellow. Just a little switcheroo. And this one yellow. So we'll hit it with the light first. Wrong side. Story of my life. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Should I do his? No, I kind of like doing their wings the same color as their hat. All right, so this guy is going to have a blue earmuff and a red scarf. And we'll make his wing blue. We'll pretend it's a little sweater. <laughs> I like it. I like it. This guy's going to get a green, green one. This guy can have a... What color am I making him? Let's make him... Let's make him... Like a little brown and yellow. So crumb cake and lemon lolly. Red hat for this. Oops, that's yellow. Let's give this one a red hat. Oh, I did it wrong. All right, that'll have to be green. Green. Red bow. So what happens when you change in the middle. In the middle, in the middle. Uh, Tahitian Tide. Balmy blue. So this present. It's going to be balmy blue. And the light doesn't look too much different than the dark. But we're not going to worry about it. Uh, let's go with a light green. So Lost Lagoon, we're going to put here. That's too close. Oh, his tail. Red scarf. And then their beaks. Okay, the sleigh is going to be light pecan pie. And then we're not going to mess too much. We're going to use light smoky slate. 
I'd like to see them come out with some lighter grays. Um, hi, Mary. Hi, Pat. What's a lot of fussy cutting? I got my cutter falling on me. Okay. We still got to do his schnoz. And that should be light crumb cake. Yes. And a little bit of blender pen to lighten it up. And then so oh I forgot his hand. Darn. So I'm just putting like dots. Do do in front of me here. Light pebble path. We gotta do his fingers. Whoa. It's not what I wanted. Light gray granite is more like it. So he's got one dark finger. No biggie. No biggie. Then take the light shaded spruce and fill in the rest. And when you, like, you don't want to really, like, press down, press down. Because it, the ink spreads, so you, very light touch. Okay, so now, what I did for underneath him, them, is I took Wink Estella, and I kind of let it, like I used a lot. Uh, not all that much. That's good. That's good. But you want it to be more than normal. See? It's going through. But that's going to dry. And then you'll see that sparkle like it's snow or ice underneath them. You could do it like next to where you are. Okay. Let's do this guy. So again, shaded spruce. I think, oh no, that's not what I used. <laughs> Good thing I looked. All right, so I have Old Olive, Granny Apple Green, <laughs> Lemon Lime. I got it all. Who remembers what I used? Do you? I don't. All right, so we're going to play. Let's start with the Granny Apple. So this is the dark. So you definitely want to go like underneath, underneath the balls. Tree has balls. A little bit in the corners, around the other ball.
Mm, we'll use the light. This is drying up too. Maybe that's why I had other colors in here. Let's try the lemon lime twist. It's a Christmas tree. All right, gonna, let's bring in some of the dark lemon lime twist. Because it's nice and juicy. And just shade a little bit more. It's going to dry lighter. Okay. I like it. Let's move on. Let's do his body. What did I do his body in? So I have dark, dark lemon lolly. Light Daffodil Delight and Light Lemon Lolly. So let's start with the Dark Lemon Lolly. I think I'm just going to use the Lemon Lolly. No exact science. You just fake it. Just to get a little different shading in there. And then the light. Fill in and blend. Not a lot to blend with this. think I got all the white. Nope, missed there. Missed here. All right, for his spots. How's my time doing? Ooh! We're running late. So I put a dot of the dark Better get my button gear here. Don't worry if you miss any. I know I missed a couple. It's spinning, spinning. The real little ones, you're just going to dot. Like kind of right on top of the other one.
just checking for white spaces. All right, I think I'm going to change some colors here. This I'm going to do, well, that I did in the darker green. So here, Old Olive. Dark, and then the light. And then red. Well, may as well make the inside of that bow red too. And if you want a little shading, just a little line down the side. Let's do his feet in the dark. And his hand. The other hand isn't showing. Oh, look at that. I forgot his ear. This hat, light poppy parade. All right, then we're just going to do, I usually don't do reds first. You'll see why. <laughs> I think I'll do that basket. Um, I did it red the last time. Hmm. All right, I'll do it. What the heck? I need the dark. I think we're going to be here forever. Oh, I know why I wanted to change the color because of those berries. That's okay. Because I have dark cherry cobbler, which is what I did last time. There's a lot of markers on my desk here. Oh, we'll just do some Dark Lost Lagoon because it's sitting right in front of me. And there. And uh, there. Now, I'm going to use this, um, whatchamacallit, Crush Curry. I didn't do this on the last one. I just thought of it. Because make it look like it's gold or something. And we'll do that one. Oh, that's why you don't do red first. Because red will bleed faster than any other. We'll go one gold, one, uh, let's do, no, lighter. We'll get this. Oh, nope, that one can't be red. That can be red. This can be red. That needs to be... Hmm. Hmm. Not that color. Let's go 
lemon lolly. Mixed with that makes it green. Oh, I love it. And we'll do this one. It's kind of orange now. I think, I think I got it all. Okay. So now we just got to put a little bit on the bottom of him. Oh, the star. That's not going to, that, that won't work. All right, so I've got Dark Daffodil Delight. Oh, his hat. Oh, his hat, hat. Oh, his hat, hat. And white daffodil. And his hat needs to be green. Oh no, his hat really was supposed to be white, but it's going to be green now. So it was going to be gray, but that's fine. Let me get rid of all these. I'm going to lift this up. Now, on the other card, he was over like a little too far. So I ended up stamping it on paper and cutting it. And it almost looked like, like a tree. If um, that was a little different, it would have been cuter. But we're just going to stamp it. Stamp it. That's why I did them a little bit more to the left. But all. Look how pretty. I didn't get the set that goes with this. But if I want to use Sue's, I know she's got it. All those pretty light bulbs. So if you want to see um, Hanukkah cards, let me know. Or maybe I'll just, like I showed you one tonight, like as I get some more done, I'll just, you know, show them along with other stuff I'm doing. Okay, this is going to go, this was supposed to have um, one on the inside too, but. They were all supposed to get, hey, I could put a menorah on the inside, fool people. <laughs> okay, that's getting popped up. If I look at all this, and there's there's like more. Go, go, go. I should put them back in my thing. I wasn't letting Dad mess with me tonight. Mm -mm. I let him mess with Sue. Hi, Diane. Hi, Carol. My goodness. Put 
pokey. Come on. Remember, if you want one of these, it's Gloria Wolf. I like it a lot. Okay. Now we just got to put the other one together. Did I not put one? Oh, I forgot one in there. Oh. So what if I glue my hand or I put the paper upside down? I love the white trees. It does need a little tree on the inside. I am going to take a little tree from one of the other sets. Stamp it. In blue. Oh, it's another popper upper. All the measurements are in the description. Can, now that it's dry, yeah, you can see it shining. Okay, and then I didn't get fancy. You can stamp it on a piece. Let's see. I didn't do I have a thinner one. A little thinner. We'll see which way we like better. Definitely don't like that. Hmm. Let's see. I don't cut straight. It's got a little curve in it, but who cares? All right, that's getting popped up because it looks better. Got to use them sometime. Hmm. Put that there for later. And then I, oh, I guess I'll just leave it that way. The other one I did just direct to paper. Oh, 
Oh, I see a spot. A little shadow. Yeah, I guess so. I just got to even this. It's not really even. <laughs> it looks like I was drinking when I was cutting it. Sue made me one of those strong ones. That all of a sudden sneaks up and hits you. I'll just blame it on her. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's bring back uh, one, two, and three. And lift this up a little. It's 9-11. In my medicine cup, in my medicine cup, in my medicine cup. First this. Red, white, and blue, gotta love it. Don't forget, Gloria Wolf. <laughs> I can't hold it. Uh, you gotta see it to do it. Got it. Alrighty, so here are the cards. I ran over a little bit. Spending extra time with Gail Sue. I didn't lose much at all. Sometimes it even comes apart. What? What? All right, hold on. Sounds like too much glue. Huh? Like a ridge where... Oh, I'm going to have to go back. Um, can you see the glue on the cardstock? Oh, no, you can't see this stuff. The one the one thing I really like about it, this and art, art, um, this is barely art, and the other one is art something else. But they're not sticky, and when they, they dry, clear it's not shiny like the green glue is like the tombow so that's really what i like about it i i absolutely love this glue this one and the art i don't know where it is even i haven't been using it lately but i have a a refill that i have refilled these with it's a little thinner the art I forget what was it called. Um, art glitter glue. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, those those two glues they are not sticky and you don't get that shine on them. They really dry clear. So thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed some coloring and you try it yourself. And I will see you next week. Mm, you know my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. Thanks. Love you all. See you next week.